More tonight on the 14 police officers from Austin's elite organized crime unit who are getting ready to sue the department. They handle highly sensitive cases, cases of gun running involving Mexican cartels, raids on illegal activity, and drug busts. Now, those officers claim they were removed from their positions because of their age and race. On Tuesday, we heard from Austin police about this complaint. They say this is just a standard reorganization. Well, today, one of those officers spoke with our Don Denny. Because of his job, he has received death threats, so we agreed to conceal his identity. It is the interview you'll see only on KXAN. I'm not angry or bitter. This highly decorated detective is one of the 14 officers getting ready to sue APD. On all the raids that I was a part of, everybody came home at the end of the day. Now he feels forced to retire. He is 49 years old, has 24 years with APD, 20 years with the Organized Crime Division. Ma'am, that's, that's a kick in the, in the teeth, you know, that the chief had stated that there was a higher probability of corruption with people that have been there for a long period of time. Of the 19 officers moved over the past few months, most were over 40, and most were not white. The OCD, the replacement officers, are by and large all under 40. Uh, they are all by and large all white. This is the second time this law firm has filed suit against the department on behalf of officers. In 2011, they won a $1.5 million verdict after 29 officers said they were victims of age discrimination. This officer trained most of those still in the OCD, and he says in spite of this, he continues to help them on cases, even though he is no longer on the APD payroll. I just know that those guys are my brothers and sisters, and if they call me, I'm going to answer. Dawn Denny, KXAN News. So what exactly are your rights when it comes to discrimination cases? Anyone who feels they were treated unfairly because of a protected quality like gender, age, or race must file a complaint with the Texas Workforce Commission and Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Under Texas state law, they must wait six months from that complaint before they can file a lawsuit.